What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dad Hat here. Today we're gonna have ourselves an epic food review. Today we're gonna be taking a trip down memory lane and visit a snack that most of us have had as a child. Of course, I'm talking about some freaking flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> oh man, this is nostalgic right here. Just looking at this bag is getting me all. I remember I wanna 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 play my PlayStation 2 and I wanna sit on my computer and watch YouTube and watch dirty videos while my parents are asleep. All right guys, so first off, we gotta start by looking at the package. As we can see here, the package has definitely changed from uh, from our childhood. It looks a lot different than it used to. I mean, oh man, they, they just don't make snacks like they used to anymore, am I right? All right, now that we've looked at the package, we gotta get an epic opening shot. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I just gotta get this thing, uh, I found out how to, just, how to, it's been so long, man, I just haven't had these since I was a kid, I don't remember how to open them, I just, oh god, how is it like, uh, no, no, it can't be like this, cause this is upside down, alright, this, I'm not, oh, okay, okay, I think I see, I think I see it, there's like, there's like a top here, and it seems kind of flimsy, I think you, uh, you, you, you probably, probably got it, like that, no, no, Oh, oh fuck! All right, guys. After uh, going on the internet and uh, looking up a tutorial on how to open some uh, a hot Cheetos bag, uh, I, th I think I, I think I figured it out finally. So for all you newcomers out there, you gotta give it a pinch on both sides, and then you just gotta. And then that's uh, that's that's the the epic opening shot. We can see the uh, can see the hot Cheetos in there right now, looking all nice and uh, delicious. <laughs> Can't wait to put these in my mouth, guys. And all right, guys, now we've done that epic uh, opening shot. I guess the only thing left to do now is to taste them and see if they taste like I remember. Mmm. 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 They have that crunch that I remember as a kid, you know, I'm sure you guys remember that crunch, you know, just eating the Cheetos and get that good, that good crunch. Let's go back to the crunch cam so we could uh, see that uh, epic shot one more time. Oh! Mm, delicious. Oh, but like I said before, guys, that uh, that package sure is different than when we were kids, am I right? Uh, let's, you know what, let's go ahead and just go in for a second bite. Just to... You know what? Even though these are the, uh, even even though these are the the, the flaming hot ones, they still got that great cheese flavor. Oh, so delicious! The guys at Hostess really know how to bring it home when it comes to some great snacks, man. These are the, these hot Cheetos are probably some of the best hot Cheetos I've ever had. Now I've got some of that uh, that good old classic yellow cheese dust. Uh, you know they they specifically engineer Cheetos to have that dust so that it gets stuck on your fingers and. Mm, it just tastes so great. All right, guys. So here's today's epic fun food fact of the day. Did you guys know that uh, flaming hot Cheetos were invented in uh, 2012, the year that Barack Obama was elected for the second time as president? And thank God the last. Is it just me or do these hot Cheetos look a little smaller than I remember as kids? But you know, things things just change. You know. It, it, they just change over time. It's time to wash this drink down with another classic kid staple from my childhood, Capri Sun. You guys remember Capri Suns, right? They were just, uh, you just, your mom put them in your lunches and you just, you just, you just drank up, man. That's good times, man. You didn't have to worry about things like the threat of nuclear war. All right, well, let's taste it to see if it, uh, see if it, uh, makes us reminisce about the good old days. Well, as most of our parents once said uh, when we brought them a failing grade and they held their uh, bottle of a uh, Jack Daniels, bottoms up. God, it just, it tastes just like it did when we were kids, man. All right, guys, that's about enough for me, uh, your boy Dad Hats here. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. Leave a comment for some food you guys want me to try out next. Uh, make sure to always uh, tip your waitress, uh, tip your tip your prostitute, because God knows uh, I'm not making any girls any other way. And as always, uh, 
Make sure to respect all the women out there because uh, your boy Dad Hats is a proud feminist. Make sure to go on Twitter and put the hashtag uh, Dad Hat Feminism and show your support today. All right, guys, that's about enough for me. Uh, make sure to follow all of my uh, uh, Instagrams, my Twitters, my MySpace, my LinkedIn, and make sure to follow my Snapchat, guys, where I'll be uh, posting uh, some daily vlogs, me playing with my dogs and uh, uh, crying in the shower because I. <laughs> all right, guys, that's about enough for me. Make sure to, uh, to buy my merch. You can buy your Hashtag dad hat feminist uh, hat down below in the link. Uh, make sure to go and uh, go go buy it because uh, I, I really I'm not making any money from these ads on YouTube anymore, guys. All right, that's about enough for me, guys. Uh, today's sponsor is gonna be uh, Audible.com. Uh, Audible.com. They got thousands of audiobooks, including one of my favorites, uh, the the Clown's Guide to Masturbation. It's a really uh, it's a really good read. Uh, I, I recommend it if you're uh, if you're a fan of clowns and a fan of masturbating. All right, guys, that's about enough for me.